Now, the Ethiopian Olympic legend Hale Gabriselassie has announced plans to head to the front line just a day after Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed announced he was joining the fight against rebel forces from the northern region of Tigray. That surprise move comes amid reports of rebel forces advancing towards the capital Addis Ababa. Their latest gain is the town of Shewa Robit, which is on the main road linking the capital to the north. The BBC's Emmanuel Nguza has more from Nairobi. It's a startling moment. Just two years ago, Prime Minister Abi Ahmed won the Nobel Peace Prize, describing war as the epitome of hell. Today, he's threatening to march in person to the battlefront to join his troops in the year-long war against the Tigray People's Liberation Fighters. The TPLF, which has joined forces with another rebel group, the Oromo Liberation Army, have dismissed the statement and claim to have captured key towns and cities as they advance south towards the capital Addis Ababa. The government denies this. Supporters of the Prime Minister have cheered him on, calling him brave, but critics say it's just a publicity stunt by Mr. Abi, who once served in the military. This has been a devastating war. There have been casualties, thousands killed and millions displaced by the conflict. Ethiopia declared a state of emergency at the beginning of November. The UN says nearly half a million people are living under famine-like conditions. Even aid workers have been targeted. Nearly 30 have been killed since fighting broke out. Rights groups have accused both sides of atrocities that amount to war crimes. The UN has reiterated calls for the release of humanitarian workers and more than 70 drivers detained by authorities earlier this month. No reason was given for their arrests. In uh, Ethiopia, it's a fluctuating uh, picture. The latest numbers I just received are five UN staff and two dependents are in custody. Six staff, as, as we mentioned, were released yesterday, and one was released today. However, one UN staff member and a dependent were detained today. The African Union is leading efforts to bring a negotiated end to the fighting, but neither side has committed to talks. Earlier this month, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken warned that out-and-out -out conflict will be disastrous for the Ethiopian people and also for others in the region. At the root of the war is a disagreement between Prime Minister Abiy and the TPLF, which for almost three decades dominated the whole country. The Simarin dispute then erupted into war 12 months ago when Tigrayan forces were accused of attacking army bases to steal weapons and federal government responded. PM Abi Ahmed came into power bringing with him sweeping reforms and promising to heal old wounds. Today the country is torn apart by bitter ethnic tensions that have led many to question how things could have gone so wrong for a country that held so much hope. Imanoli Gunza, BBC News.